here we're looking at a saddle from the rear and from the bottom. What is the reason we have space right through here? Why do we need making saddles with space through here? There's pretty much two main reasons. Number one, when we ride a horse, there's friction, there's weight, and heat wants to rise. And in heat rise, it can dissipate to the back or to the front of your saddle. So it's definitely for circulation. Okay. The other reason why we need to have a gullet space is to stay off the horse's spine. The horse's spine has spinal processes, spinal transfer, then comes the ribs, and on the bottom we see a hole right through here where the all the nerves come through. And then right between here we see the dorsal ligament system. And then we have different muscle groups. But there's a big, big, heavy, big muscle group with this longissimus dorsi. And then there's the muscle. When I dissected the first horse, I really had to laugh. They call it the fly shaker muscle. It's a very thin muscle. And then you got the tendon plates if it's in this area. So the space I really want to protect is right here. That's my space. What has to match this space. Now, very often we see saddles where the saddle is nice and wide in the front, but narrow in the back. Why is that? Well, if we go back 150 years, the gullet actually looked like that. Where the army saddle and the western saddles, today, this is the bird's view, uh, for the bottom view of the saddle, like this. So if I put this tracing over here, that was the pad, how they used, to, the panels, how they used to look. So you notice, we got the same space back then in the back, then in the front. And then because the horse's spine bends when you go around the corners, to the left or to the right, we have a nice clearance in the front and in the back. 